Hey everyone, Ezor here, and in this video I'm going to show you where you can find the Gold Covetous Serpent Ring, as well as the Symbol of Avarice in the game Dark Souls. Now these increase your item drop rates, so they are kind of good to have. They can't be stacked together, so you really need to have one or the other, but um, there's a little bit of a hitch with the Symbol of Avarice that I'll get into when I get to it. First things first, the Gold Covetous Ring is going to be in the Sense Fortress. As you see here, I'm at the spot where I can actually rotate around the uh, balls that are going down as a trap. Make sure you send them down. It's technically the east path, and that path is going to be the one where you're supposed to be going down. The north path is the one that goes just right off the little bridge there. Kind of goes off in the middle of nowhere, so the south path will, will free Logan, and the east path will go down the stairs and into a pit. So, like I said, just make sure you do this west one here. I'll show you where you go down. It automatically goes this way when you come down to this room in order to go keep going down, so just a heads up on that. When you set the trap to go this way, you will need to shoot out about five or six of the balls just because they needed up stacking up. This is normally a hole right here, and they need to stack up in order so you can make a pathway. So once you are able to get that pathway, just run across and grab the ring. Now, the symbol of avarice, like I said, is a little bit trickier. It's dropped from a mimic, and it's a rare drop. The only exception is that if you kill all the mimics in the game, you end up the last one in the game will give you it as a guaranteed drop. So if you don't get it the whole time, you can end up getting one from the last mimic here. There's only mimics in Sense Fortress, and Orlando, and the Duke's Archive. So as long as you're checking in those areas, you'll find them. And then with the last one killed, you get it. And like I said, with that, it's a, technically a helm, so you have to wear it on your head. The biggest thing, like I said, is that these do not stack with each other. They do stack with humanity, though. So if you have 10 humanity and are wearing either the ring or the helmet, you will have 410 item discovery, which is the best in the game. The helmet does decrease your life by 5 HP per second. Uh, this can kind of be negated with the evil ring, so I usually have that on whenever I have the helmet on. You do get extra souls when you have the helmet on, too, so that's pretty nice. More on that one in the silver covetous serpent ring video. But yeah, that's about all there is to this video. So hope to help get you these two items for more drop rates. Like I said, they're pretty awesome, but they don't stack. So just make sure to grab one or the other. If you like the video at all, go ahead and give it a like. If you enjoy other video game related content, that's kind of what I do. So consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ezor, and until next time, keep your story going.